My name is JP Delmore and I am NHB's tax lobbyist. I want to talk about the tax bill that's pending before Congress, the American Families and Workers Act. Media coverage has focused on the proposed expansion of the child tax credit, which is part of this bill, but I want to talk about three other provisions that may help your business. For the first one, I'm going to lump together two provisions because they both involve the same thing, expensing, which allows businesses to immediately write off the cost of certain equipment. This front loads the tax benefit, which can help free up money for your business. Up until last year, businesses could generally expense most depreciable investments in the same year they were placed in service, which is called 100% bonus depreciation. Since the beginning of last year, that has started to phase out, and this bill would restore 100% bonus depreciation retroactively back to the beginning of 2023 and then continue it through the end of 2025. And the bill would also expand 179 expensing, which is another way to accelerate tax write-offs, but is targeted to small businesses. The second key provision is additional resources to help finance the construction of affordable rental housing through the low-income housing tax credit. This housing serves residents, generally earning up to 60% of the area median income. We've been advocating for a long time to put more money into this program, and this bill finally does that. And finally, there's a provision that may reduce the number of 1099 forms your business has to issue. In general, if you have a transaction with another business that totals $600 or more, you need to issue a 1099 form. This $600 threshold hasn't been changed since the 1950s. This bill would update that threshold to $1,000 and index it to inflation. So if you're a small business that's paying to issue each individual 1099 form, this could save some money. Of course, the big question is, will this become law? And that's something we're going to cover in a second video.